Kitsuart. Hi Fluffy Fluffs, my name is Kitsu. In my previous video I have shown you the basics of Be Magic Mirror, a VTuber program that I have used since I began my VTuber journey. I'll be showing you a few more tools that can be useful from this program and some new tools that have been added. Alright, let's begin this tutorial. Okay, and right here you can actually set your language to um, Chinese or English or Japanese. Choose English. Unless you speak Japanese or Chinese, um, yeah. I, I don't speak any of those languages, so I'm just going to go with English. And then you can set it to start on Windows Startup. So I don't really check that. Not sure what it does. And it, I don't think it's important. There's also settings files. So you can actually save, export, load. So, you know, whatever you create here, you can save it, you can load, or you can export out. Then you can also take screenshots as well. And you also got your instruction manual. I say manual because of Wally. <laughs> Operate Manuel. Uh, Manuel, relay instructions. All right, next is open settings. So what the settings is right here, it's basically the same thing as your streaming tools. It said that you can do a little bit more right here, which is not really that important. There's also, there's, you got your transparency level, which is when you put your pointer close to a character, your character will go transparent. But I don't think it's necessary. You can also change your background color. You got the same transparent window. You got the face. So we already we already went through all this in the streaming tools. You can adjust blink to head motion, lip sync. You go got your viewer. You also got blend shapes. I got no idea what these do, but you know it just brings my smiley face here. But yeah, this is actually a new thing, or I'm not really sure how to use this, but. I don't think it's important because you're, you, this is just for you to get you started. <laughs> you also got your upper body here, so it's the same thing as in streaming. You can modify your shoulder motions as well. So, you know, if you want to modify the animations a little bit, just, uh, you know, just mess with it, see what works, see how it looks, you know, experiment a little. You also got your hand, wrist hand, lift hip length, hand height adjust. So, you know, you can mess with like a lot of things here. You also got your wave motion, so what this does is that when you are like not touching anything, not moving the, not pressing keys, not pressing anything, your character will just put his hands down. So meaning the it will not use the keyboard, it will not use the pen until you start um, pressing some buttons or moving the mouse. Then you got your layout right here, it's the same thing as in the streaming tools. You know, same thing as we went through before. And you also got your effects, so you know you can mess with the light. You can turn on light intensity. And if you are starting to like mess with all any of these things right here, if you start messing with everything and you don't know how they used to be, you can just press the button up here to reset the settings. And there you go, they're back to where they used to be. You also got your shadows, you got your bloom. I don't think this character has any has any bloom effects. Oh wait, yeah. I made the balloon too high, <laughs> but I can go back by resetting the settings. And then you also got your wind right here. So there's wind in here, and I'm going to increase the strength of the wind. Let's see what I got here from this. Look at that. Look at that. My scarf is actually moving around. My tail is also moving. <laughs> and then just reset the settings back to how it used to be. And then we also got your gamepad. You no know, lean by stick, left buttons, right stick. You know, there's a lot of settings you can um, mess with here. Uh, MIDI, got no idea what that is. I don't know what a MIDI is. <laughs> and then you got your word to motion here. These are your emotions and your animations. And you can see number nine is not taken. So we're gonna press the plus button right here. That'll add a new, a new um, animation here. We click the settings. We go up here to word and let's call this one surprise. And you can see the joy animation, the joy blend shape is on. So let's turn that off and let's turn on surprised. And the surprised emotion is now on. You can also build emotion into this, this animation as well. So, you know, you can go do good, wave, rock row, not, shake, you know, and then let's just add rock row in there. And then we'll go to um, OK. And then we press 9 to activate it. And there you go. <laughs> There's your animation. And then the arrows right here, these just move them up and down. So if I were to press up, it's going to move up. So 
surprise is now number 8, shaking is number 9. And that's all you need to know. Then you got your settings file on control. This is actually a new thing here, which I have no idea what it does. But I don't think it's necessary. Next you got your external tracker. Pretty much iFacial mocap, which I do not have. I do not have an iPhone, so I cannot really explore any of these things here. Oh, and then this new, this new feature was added as well to the new 2.0 version. So you can add accessories. So give me one moment to add a GLTF file into this. Okay, so I added an object in there. So if you follow my Master Sword tutorial, you can actually put the Master Sword inside the program. And you can see it's way too big. So you can press the arrow right here and you can start adjusting it. So yeah, this is going to take a while. Give me another moment. Okay, and as you can see, I've been messing around with all this right here, and I touch it to the chest, and you can see the sword is now right on my back. So, you can have a good look at it. So yeah, the sword is now attached to my back, so you know, every time I move, it's gonna be right there, it's just gonna follow my back movements. Or pretty much is connected to my chest. So yeah, there's a pretty cool new feature added to the Magic Mirror. <laughs> okay, and next is gonna be the hands. So this is a hand tracker right here, so you're going to need a camera. So it's going to be right here, connected to the webcam that I have, and there you go. But um, it kind of looks like a Game Boy color, <laughs> kind of looks like that. And it doesn't really track your movements that well, so you know, you got to move like really slow. So you know, I, I'm holding both hands up and it's like having a hard time detecting both hands. So. Yeah, it's not the best, but you know, it's actually something if you don't have like any expensive trackers. So, you know, if you want to start moving, you need to move slow because if you move fast, it's not going to detect your movements. I'm not sure how slow you have to move with this, but yeah. And you're going to need like a really good camera with good quality because I tried my um, my old Logitech camera that was like a little less. Um, it has like a... 720p 30 frames per, per second and it kind of does an okay job at this but the new c the new c922 pro actually does a little bit more better than that but still you know it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it's enough but at least it's something so apparently this um this is what the paid version it has so if you uh, use the paid version you, the it's not gonna look like you're inside a game boy pretty much <laughs> Wait, what the heck? As time keeps moving forward, this and many other VTuber programs will be changing and adding new features because the demand for more VTuber tools seems to continue growing. It's not too late to become a VTuber. Even if you don't grow fast, the important thing is to enjoy doing it. Otherwise... What's wrong with you? <laughs> Thanks, Reggie, but also, what is the point if you don't have fun and enjoy it? I'm a VTuber artist and I enjoy learning more about drawing and 3D modeling. And by becoming a VTuber, my passion for art just multiplied, willing to learn and try more things to enhance my VTuber experience and reach my dream goals. And you should strive for your dreams as well. My name is Kitsu and I stream Fridays and Saturdays on Twitch at 8pm to 10pm Central Time. My goal for the new year is 1000 subscribers. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to poke that like and subscribe button. Share with your friends, feel free to follow me in my other social media, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, take care of yourselves, Fluffy Fluffs. See you later.